I didn't know you were five foot eight. Do you think five, I know, five foot eight point five and a half? I think one seventy three <laughs> centimeters, one seventy four centimeters. Yeah, and when we do our cameras, like they're always at chest level, so we look taller. Tyler's pretty short as well. No, oh mid- yeah, mid- yeah mid- sort of thing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think Tyler's slightly shorter than me. Uh, but even we we probably both know people, everyone watching this video knows people who are short by measurement, but they seem like they have a lot of stature. And we know like older men who have gray hair who are short, but we think they have this big presence. And that's the same mental picture that women have uh, of people who are confident and loud. And, and that is something that can be changed. Like I'm literally saying you can change your height, the perception of your height by the way you conduct yourself. That's perfect. That's exactly what I want to talk about. So I didn't realize that you were five foot eight. And I'm sure lots of people also watching this don't realize that either. And I always get people saying, uh, I can't get laid because of my height or she's rejecting me because of my height. And maybe there's some truth to it. But if we're going to be practical, what are the ways that uh, someone can get over the fact that maybe they're shorter than six foot like it obviously you can't grow but does it actually matter does height matter it does matter in uh, of course height matters because it's going to affect the person who feels inflicted by it but we all know another example is like going bald. A lot of guys will go bald in one way or the other. The only thing that matters if you let the baldness worry you. I, I for one, uh, am pretty fat, actually. Like my body weight percentage is 27%, and I work really hard on it um, to lose my fat. But when I'm in that flow state, I basically forget that I'm fat and everything's okay. I'm short and kind of fat, and I can't control it. Like, uh, the reason why I couldn't control my fat is because I have an issue with my liver. I have issues with my hormones. I have to get a lot of medical stuff to work on that. But in the moment when you're in that flow zone, when you've got that energy flowing through you and you're appreciative of people around you, then those things don't matter. And now here's a bit of like Jedi psychology or whatever you want to call it. But when, when a really lovely prospective partner, an attractive person of of which you're interested in whatever gender it might be. When that, say for example, in a very traditional sense, like historically traditional, like a, a girl, she's like five foot eight, high heels, she's naturally beautiful, she's confident. She's looking around for what she thinks she wants. And she might think she wants a football player or a buff guy or a well-dressed guy who's a certain height. She thinks she wants that. And that's fine. You know, that's what society says. And we're all victims of society standards, right? But because she thinks she wants that, she's nervous and self-conscious and scared of that. So actually, a lot of the students in my program, I have probably three of them now who are like six foot five. And they don't, they, they actually don't get any results because every girl is scared of them. So they need to play a different type of game because they scare women so much just because they look like Captain America. Three of these guys look like Captain America and every girl that they speak to gives them like a negative reaction. Like they don't want to mess it up or they act awkwardly around them. Conversely, for guys who are not historically, traditionally attractive in the way that you're referencing, stereotypically like good looking, guys who are not good looking, girls don't have that defense mechanism up against them. So what happens is women will think, oh, here comes, I've got a student here. Uh, his name is Solomon. That's a similar name. And he is shorter than me. He's like five foot six, five foot six, Pakistani, chubby, close to 30% body fat. So chubbier than me. Um, and he started super introverted. So when Solomon, Pakistani, introverted Canadian comes along and he's super inexperienced, He's doing his second four-week natural, his 10 weeks of social experience. When he comes on, the girls think, oh, that's Solomon. Oh, okay. I don't need to worry about him. He's not defense. I'm not, I have no defenses against him. So straight away, it's almost like a Trojan horse. The girls are like open. It's like, oh, he's my gay best friend. But he doesn't get in the friend zone because he knows how to add physicality in an appropriate way. Touch the shoulders, escalate arm in arm going to the bar. He knows how to use a negative range of emotions, to challenge, to call out, to not be eager to keep the conversation going, to call bullshit, to tease a girl appropriately. And also he knows how to call to action to show that he's a man looking for a woman. So 
here he is chatting almost like a gay best friend. Then he shows masculinity like, I've got a plan of action, come with me. He compliments them in an authoritative way. He creates jealousy by including other people. And then he's getting the attraction of any guy in a way that there's a negative dynamic if an, a traditionally attractive guy uh, would make it go nervous. So this guy, Solomon, he has had, he must have had 13 dates here in the last 28 days. We're on day 28 of, of 31 or 32, 33, I think. Um, he said at least 13 dates. He's had intimate, um, sexually intimate encounters with with seven lovely girls, seven girls who, you know, we you would want to have intimate encounters with. And even his mind is blown. It's it's a really great thing to see. And I I'm it's it's stunning to see this because I had to have this conversation with him as well. Like, dude, you know, the reality is people will have prejudices against you because you're Pakistani and you're five foot six or five foot seven, five foot six and a half, I think he is. Um, and you're socially inexperienced, all these things. And he worked his ass off in the gym. He got his fashion on point. He communicates very well. And then he, he's a programmer as well. So we can systematize conversation to make sure that he doesn't fall into the friend zone. He can access his own X factor by knowing how to get out of the safe zone, get into the expressive edgy zone to get that fire happening. And then call to action, deal with, uh, you know, if girls are unsure, he backs himself he is standing up for himself like saying repeating yeah i want to take you for a drink i want to meet you for a date and girls think well this is a man who has x factor makes me feel wanted he's got things going on i worry about losing this man to another girl and the girl stops seeing him as a short chubby pakistani they start seeing him as an energy a positive trajectory and somebody who makes them feel brilliant right and he's more of a man than a guy who doesn't do anything. So to your listeners, yes, you can. The answer is yes, you can. But how can you? You need to know how to communicate properly, how to use a range of emotions, negative range of emotions properly. You need to know how to escalate properly. You need to know how to initiate physicality properly, right? That's the hard part. And by all means, watch YouTube videos and you know do coaching calls and things like that. But in this industry, you want to work with a professional. Of course, I'm, you know, encouraging you to work with a with a coach i did i swipe probably did a lot of guys do and they get out of this group and they they start to live happily ever after so we're always going to point you in this direction it's just a matter of time when you're ready to to take care of the how to do it because this conversation is only going to tell you what to do right it's going to give you an idea but it's not going to give you the full idea and th the reality is us guys we don't have confidence we don't have the x factor and the flow state until we know how it's done like I can see clearly what to expect. I'm seeing the results. My confidence is up. And then the magic starts to work. Like the, the chemistry starts to work. Until then, it's going to be flat.